Hi folks, Thomas Henson here with thomashenson.com and today is another episode of Isilon Quick Tips. And so today, what we want to cover on today's episode is I want to go in through the CLI and look at some of the commands that we can do on Izzy Shares. And specifically, I want to look at some of the advanced features, so something around the ACLs where we can deny certain hosts or allow certain hosts too. So follow along with me right after this. So in today's episode, we wanted to look at SMB shares, but specifically from the command line. And what we're really gonna focus on as I open this share here is some of these advanced settings. So you can see that we have some of these advanced settings like continuous availability of time, and it looks like that we can change some of these, but when we change them, we're just gonna type in how we wanna change those here. So if we wanted to, for example, in the host ACL, be able to deny or allow certain host, this is where we could do that. But let's find out how we can do this from the command line, because there's a couple different options and a couple ways we can do it, and specifically we wanna learn how to do it from the command line. So here we are, I'm logged back into my command line, and so you can see I'm on Isilon 2. And so the first command I want to do is I want to list out all those SMB shares that we had. So we had three of those. So the command is that we're going to be using is the SMB shares. And I'm just going to type return so we can see what those actions are. And so you can see that we can do a list, which is the first thing we want to do. But you can also create those shares. You can delete shares. And we can view specific properties on each one of those shares. So going back in. Let's run a list on our shares. And you can see, all right, so we have all those shares that we were just looking at from our web CLI. One thing to note here is if you are using this shares list command and you don't see your zones, make sure that you type in the zone here. So we would type in the specific zone. So if you didn't see in the shares, make sure that you're specifying exactly what zone there is. I only have one zone in my lab environment here under system. So I can see that all my shares are there. So now that I know that my shares are there, let's go back and I want to look at the NASA share that we have. So let's use the view command, NASA. And you can see here that it's going to give me my permissions, but then also those advanced features that we were talking about, we can see those here. So for example, we have the access-based enumeration. And so if you're looking to be able to hide files or folders for users that don't have those permissions, you can see that if that's set here, then also the file mask. So we can see that our default directory and file mask is 700. So if you're looking for what a file mask is, if you're not familiar, that's the default permissions that are set whenever you have a file or directory that's created in the share. So you can see that in mine, the default setting is 700. And then specifically, the one that I really wanted to go over was the host ACL. So you can see the host ACL, I don't have anything set here. And this is the property we can change that'll allow or deny certain host to this specific share. So one of the reasons this came up is we were trying to secure an application for, from a share and we wanted to be able to say, hey, you know, it's only gonna accept traffic from two or one specific server and then we're gonna deny all those. So what we wanna do is I wanna walk through how to do that. So specifically, we're still gonna use our Izzy SMB share, but now we're going to use the modify. So you see the S Izzy SMB share modify command. You can see that when we do that, I'm just going to show you some of the commands that we have here, but you can see we have a lot of different options we can do. But the first thing is remember, we're going to type in that share. So here I'm going to pass in my NASA string. I don't have to pass in zone because I only have one zone, but if you have different zones and you're going to want to pass that zone in, the command that we're specifically looking for is this host ACL. So we have some options here with the host ACL. We can clear the host, we can add a host, and we can remove a host. So what we want to do is we want to add a host that's going to allow for host coming from, we're just going to say 192, 170, 170.1. And then so, and then we're going to deny all host from that. So we're going to clear this out so we can have it at the top of the screen. And so you can see we have it here. So the Izzy SMB shares modify. And then you're going to put in here your share name. So mine is NASA. And then we're going to do dash dash add host ACL 
equals the first thing we're going to do is we're going to allow so we want to allow traffic from 192.170.170.001 then we're going to use a comma to separate that out and then we're going to say that we're going to deny all and so specifically we could do this different and say that we want to allow traffic from all and then deny from specific ones but for this use case and this is probably the most common one especially when you're trying to lock down a certain chair you're going to want to use this command so we'll type in the command get our command prompt back again and now let's do that view so let's view our NASA and see if our changes are in there so you can see in our host ACL we have it and then if we wanted to go back to our share from the web CLI and just see if those changes took you can see in our advanced setting here now it's showing us our allow and deny all now what's to say that I want to keep this going on my cluster or if I want to revert back. So there's a couple different options. If you remember, we had the clear host ACO or the revert back. And so now I can just use this easy SME shares modify on my NASA directory. Once again, just as a reminder, use your zone name if you have a specific zone. And then now I can revert my host ACLs. Now that we have that, I'm going to clear this out and check. And you can see our host ACLs is reverted back. We don't have one set there. So now we're allowing traffic as long as you have the permissions to get to this file and we don't have one set. Well, that's all for Isilon Quick Tips for today. Make sure to subscribe so that you never miss an episode of Isilon Quick Tips or some of the other amazing content that I have on my YouTube channel here. And I will see you next time.